Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Tops Inception Baseball, 16 box, pick your team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. 16 box, pick your team number three. There you go. Big thanks to everyone who got into the action here. Now for pick your teams, and thanks to Fred, double last spot mojo right there, Twins, Mariners. And remember, we don't tell the Cardinals. Yes, we are getting new toner, by the way. <laughs> we don't tell the Cardinals because they don't have hits. Right there. So, if there's any Cardinals cards that pop out, like numbered cards or something like that, base cards, we'll randomize it to one person in the break right here. All right, and here's the case. The, the lockdown is going fine. G-Lo. Where's my knife? Not in my back pocket. I think they're doing all right. We've already been kind of not open to the public, so for we have been not open to the public for a while, so nothing's really changed here for me anyway. All right, there's eight on the left side, eight on the right side. Good luck. What, what's up, Sean? Thoughts on Gordon picking Denver? Are you? This is Josh Gordon picking Denver. Did he give him the gave Denver the rose? Is that how it works? I've never seen that. I've never watched that show. You get a rose and you stay, right? There's Ozzy Albies. There's Sam Hilliard for the Rockies. Speaking of Denver, that'll go to Carlos and the Rocks. And oh, we got two hits here. We got a Victor Robles. 212 out of 245. Oh, Melvin Gordon. All right, see, I didn't know that. Breaking news to me. Thank you, Sean. Victor Robles goes to Evan. And we've got a, ooh, what a patch. A one-of-one one Jake Rogers for the Tigers. That That is pretty sweet. Matthew Stubblefield and the Detroit Tigers. A piece of his sock, maybe? It's got, yeah, sock, right, Joe? Joe Drobeck saying, oh, yeah, there's... <laughs> says right there, sock. That's awesome. Matthew... All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! That does look pretty sharp. That is awesome. All right, good start. Next box. So Melvin Gordon went to Denver, huh? All right. Interesting. Yeah, in this case, yeah, the, you're kind of right. In this case, the design does kind of take away from a little bit from the swatch colors. It blends in a little too well, but could be the lighting here too, but still cool. All right, we got Dustin May to 99. And there's Dylan Cease, one out of 50. Well, Sean, you're a Chargers fan. What, what, how do you feel about it? You know, and in, you know, in the AFC, going to an AFC West rival. Because if you're just like, eh, not worried, and then, sorry, Dylan Cease autograph for Jason and the White Sox. And all cars ship too, folks. I'm sure everyone saw that in the item description. There's Josh to 150 for the Pirates. That'll be for Michael Gallucci. All right. 
And another Josh Bell. Reveals a jersey auto. Bo Bichette. Nice. Rookie jersey and auto. Bo Bichette. That goes to Zach and the Blue Jays. Nice, Vince. Watching with your daughter. Hello. Thanks for watching. Blue Jays. Nice, Zach. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, as I've been saying, I know a lot of a lot of a lot of you working from home or stuck indoors. It's a good time to introduce friends, family, sons, daughters, nieces, nephews to the hobby. It's a good opportunity for something like that. So I'm sure that as kids kind of get cabin fevered after being at home from school. And there's Justin Verlander, and he will reveal a Victor Robles. Nice. Another one, 76 out of 99, going to Evan Levine. Was that another one? Yeah, Victor Robles to 245 was first, and this is the magenta to 99. Shanting, I like Melvin Gordon. It would have been cool just giving him the same contract we offered last year. But signing Eckler long-term kind of made that a no-go. And he took less money to play for Denver as a sort of revenge. Yeah, I, I think Melvin Gordon just, just uh, I think, overplayed his hand, I think. I think he thought, oh, I could hold out and maybe get a big payday, you know, stay in Southern California, but... I just think he misplayed the hand. There's the randomizer for the Goldschmidt right there. You're surprised with paid Gordon with Lindsay in the back? Well, I think in this day and age, I think I feel like having a couple running backs has been the trend, I think. There's Travis Demerit, Tigers, Demerit, Demerit, 88 out of 155, two color patch and autograph, another one from Matt. Next box. But yeah, I think you kind of want to have a couple running backs if, you have the, if you're able to. You know, yeah, and I agree with Sean. I think Lindsey would be more of that north-south kind of guy. Melvin Gordon could be more in passing situations, come out of the backfield, change of pace, that sort of thing. I mean, look at, I know Jason Jaspi was talking about this earlier today. Look at Todd Gurley. You know, he's still pretty young and he's got a degenerative knee and kind of kind of soured in Los Angeles pretty quickly. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden he's in Atlanta with who knows what his knee situation is. Maybe you got to try to have him try to preserve your running backs if you get some good ones together would be the idea. I would love if the Raiders got a, another running back maybe in later rounds this year just to give Josh Jacobs a little bit of a rest more often. There's Isan Diaz, 53 out of 75. I think he had a pretty decent debut last year. That goes to the Marlins. That'll be for Phil Meagle. Well, I don't eight million a year to have him be a third down run. No, I don't think it's going to be like that. I think they'll use him more often than that. At least that's the way they're paying him. There's Nolan Arenado, orange to 50. Robles, Eddie Rosario, Dustin May. Pete Alonzo reveals a Trent Grisham. Um, I don't think he's with the Brewers any longer, but this is Brewers edition to 245 Charles with the Brew Crew. He's with the Padres now. 
Sorry, Joe. Joe Joe Drobeck has the Padres. Um, they should have done the deal before they started putting Inception in production. It was probably just too late. All right, and behind Chris Paddock is going to be an angel, Matt Tice, who always... No offense to Matt Tice, to, to 245 for the Halos. That goes to uh, Jason Rice. I see angels. I see, I kind of quickly look at the name. I see an M and I see a T. What do you expect me to think? No, I have not spotted any Royals yet today. Gilo, who do the Royals have? They don't have too much on the checklist, so they're a little fewer and far between. Right, Got to be due at some point. <laughs> That's right, Calvin. Can't can't get anything by you. This guy. All right. And we've got Nico Herner, a cubby, out of two, four, five. That'll be for Kham, Kevin Hamilton, and the Cubs. Now, Bobby is not on this. They got Josh Stomont, a couple of different, uh, a patch auto and then a regular auto, and then a Whit Merrifield, but that's Inception, Dawn of Greatness. That's only to 36. Or there's only 36 in the print run, so minus the one of one and minus the et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So. But they had time to do the base cards, redo the base cards, though. There's Trent Grisham Padres edition. There's Glaber Torres to 150. They usually get the autos taken care of first, and they print the rest after that. All right. Oh, there's jo this is who we're looking for. There's Josh Stomont, Royals. And there's another Nico Horner, Patch Auto this time. Kind of like what they did with the window this year. They look, right? It looks a little fragile, but... But I do like the design in that window. That's another Cub for Kevin. I think they'll get him in there, Kelvin. They'll get Bobby Witt Jr. in there. Traditionally, at least in recent years, the number one overall pick ends up in um, Bowman Draft. And then they hold the number two pick for Bowman Baseball, which is in April, right? Ryan's saying a few weeks, yeah, mid-April, I think. So there'll be plenty of him in there, I'm sure. Or plenty of opportunities to chase him in there, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll have a lot of, a lot to break of that as well. There's Correa for the Astros. There's another Cardinal. DJ LeMahieu. Oh, I think there's another base card. DJ LeMahieu and there's a uh, Willie Castro. And we've got Carter Keboom. 46 out of 245. Nice break for Evan and the Nats. A couple Robles scissors, scissors and then a Kaboom. Yeah, there is that silhouettish look right there in in this that I really like. All right, next box. Folks, we got plenty of this in the store. So go and get it, jaspiescasebreaks.com. Also, Jason is live right now. I think he has a limited selection of personal boxes of this Inception Baseball as well. So however you want to do it, group breaks or personals, make it happen. All right, there's Abraham Toro, Bull. Blake Snell to 150. And 
and behind Zach Collins is a Chris Paddock. 54 out of 75. That one is for Joe Drobeck and the San Diego Padres. There you go. On card as well for this particular one. You're welcome, Joe. Thanks for getting in. Yeah, I I, I think Inception is is at a at a pretty pretty nice price point. I think it sits at a pretty nice price point, especially for for what you can get. There's Mike Trout to ninety nine. I honestly don't know how these do on a secondary market, but every year we do this, we sell a lot of it, so people must like it. There's Mauricio Dubon, 5 out of 75 for the Giants. Little oppo Joe Mojo for Greg McKinnon and the San Francisco Giants. All right, a few more to go, boys and girls. Good luck. Do I see orders coming in for more stuff, I hope? Yeah, I see. Yeah, I see a handful of orders coming in. All right. We'll go through those after this break and see what we're going to break next. Anything else sold out on the site? No one's giving me the she gone signal. There's Kyle Lewis, Aquino. And behind Bruce Star Greaterall, Twins Edition, we, it reveals a Jordan Yamamoto. 47 out of 155. The crafty righty. I think he's kind of a soft throwing right hander, but he's got some good control. Good streaming option on fantasy for me last year. At least for a handful of starts. All right, two more boxes to go. One left in Blaster Optic, so that probably sounds like it's going to be next. Is Prism Hobby full, Duke? Or is that close? Well, either way, we're going to get there. Plate? Plate. Jesus Lazardo. I expect a lot from Jesus Lazardo this year. I think he's going to be pretty great. That's going to go to the A's, Fred Schultz and the Athletics. And out of fives and under, out of fives and under, as you know, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice. Get him to autograph this. That'd be pretty cool. The plate. It's uh, it's in the item description, Kelvin. Read that. Five out of twenty-five. And if you are still confused, let me know. I know we haven't done that particular promo in a minute or two. Dylan Cease for Jason and the White Sox. You'll also get that Dylan Cease as well. And then we've got a John Means. One out of 99, John Means Business. That goes to Carlos. Remember, uh, man, this is a name I haven't thought of since childhood. Remember Natron Means? Natron? Tron? Natron Means? Running back for the Chargers, I want to say. Anyway, John means, I think no relation, uh, goes to Carlos once again. All right, we got Rogelio Armenteros to 75. There he is again. 
Walker Bueller, Mauricio, Michael. And the last hit of this break is going to be behind Travis. And it's going to be a Blue Jay. It's Danny Jansen to 245. There you go. Old 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 Danny Jansen. Wait, Danny Jansen is not the one that got in trouble. No, right? It's the other catcher. <laughs> All right. Anyway, it's not family friendly. Zach with the Blue Jays. There you go. Let's move on. All right. A couple Cardinals cards for someone. Who is it going to be for? Just a little consolation, I guess. We don't sell the Cardinals just because... Anyway, there's no there's no hits. Let's roll it and randomize it eleven times. Name on top gets the two card card cards. One, two, three. Right, Reese. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. All right. After eleven, Justin. There you go, Justin. Couple cards, cards going your way. Thanks for watching, everybody. That was Pick Your Team 3 in the books. I'm Joe. I'm sure we'll do more Inception tonight, so get at it. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.